But we got to start with this Photoshop competition. <laughs> That's where this begins. So what's the best way to do this? I guess I should probably start off with uh, explaining how this even came to be in the first place. Um, <laughs> let me show the thumbnail of my video. Now, my most recent video, uh, the thumbnail is not to be taken very seriously. Because honestly, I was like, it's a Q&A video. It's probably only really going to be watched by people who like already... This video is going to fucking play, isn't it? I hate I hate that my videos autoplay on my own goddamn channel. Um, you should. In but other words, the, it's stop. pretty much just dead before it even gets... Shut the fuck up, me. Why are you talking? Um, here it is. This is the thumbnail. It's just me soy jacking at myself, uh, being short, canonically. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do something silly with the thumbnail. So I made a, a picture of myself soy jacking. And then like the, the benevolent streamer I am, I, I posted the, the PNG to my Discord so that people could do whatever the fuck they want with it. <laughs> so, uh... So yeah, that's that. New emote? That would actually be a good emote. I, I maybe should add that. If I had known you did a Q&A on Twitter, I would have jokingly asked Dumper, Dumperman VTuber when? Yeah. Uh, I did it like a month or two ago. Yeah, I'll add this as an emote. I, I might have to crop it down a little bit, but um, I'll add it as an emote. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good one. Um, but anyways, so I just kind of let people take it and run with it. And um, I got a lot more people participating than I thought I would. So I decided to just, uh, you know, kind of make the Photoshop competition official. And uh, and so to the winner, to the best submission, I'm going to give away a copy of Impaler, which again, is a value of like $3. So it's not like the craziest thing ever. But you know what? It, you, you guys, uh, I got a lot more submissions than I thought. So you know what? Um, I figured I, I, would, I would give something back for it. So anyways, we'll get into the Discord submissions in a second. I did have one... <laughs> Uh, that was submitted via Twitter from Beep Forever, who used a picture of me soyjacking at Minos. And I said, photos taken moments before judgment. <laughs> so that's pretty good. I liked that one. I, I just thought I'd, I thought I'd share that one, even though that wasn't like an official submission. Yeah, so if you want to be notified uh, about dumpster dive stuff, you can go into the roles in the Discord and uh, and react to the thing that says dumpster dive, because um, I'll I'll uh, I'll ping you if there's ever anything that you might want to you know participate in or or be notified about. What have I missed? Not much so far. I just explained the Photoshop competition. Uh, so let's get into the Discord submissions. First off, from Ruby slash Rude, we have. I'd have to like zoom in on some of these. <laughs> we have me soyjacking at the cancerous rodent. Beautiful. <laughs> it's like showing the whole class your project. Yeah, I'm excited to see your submission, Shockblade. So that that was actually the first official submission I got. Um, and I, I, that's the only one I've seen because the rest are, are spoilered. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, this one's from Sequel. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Is this Minos' speech in Italian? <laughs> or or Spanish, perhaps? Yeah, it's it's Spanish. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> With the explosion in the background. This is wild. Now for the real boss, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did say that, didn't I? Ah, Libre Paul Finn. Oh, <laughs> Gabriel, a whole amanethe to a who do you enters. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> and yeah, the tiny troll face. That's good. Let's see. I gotta scroll down a little farther. Oh. <laughs> 
Here's another submission. Uh, oh, I got quite a few from uh, from Rude. It's me soyjacking at my subscriber count. That's pretty good. It's the Minos from the thumbnail too. Oh, the point. Yeah, the pointing. Hey, I gave that out for free. People in the uh, community collab Discord were asking for it, so I, I just gave it out. You know what? That's fair game to use. Yeah, me soy jacking up my sub count, which I do every day, just to be clear, in case you weren't aware. I do that every single day. Make sure I'm, uh, you know, satisfied with, with the amount of people consuming my content. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Wait, hang on. This one's kind of big. It says 2019 recommended for disposal by the Public Buildings Reform Board. So, th this has to do- this must be, like, somehow related to last week's dumpster dive, right? Because we have kind of an ugly building. What is this? Federal building on something Avila Road? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? It's just me soyjacking at a building. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what my job was before I quit. It was just to, like, point at buildings and just- Pretty much. Yeah, I think you nailed it. Okay, that was the submissions from, uh, from Ruby. Uh, oh my god. Is <laughs> from Majuri. This is, uh, I, I believe this is a Finnish version of the Mino speech, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And I, is this like finish? Okay, it looks like an energy drink, and then a beer, perhaps. Like it's the four point six the alcohol percentage. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Holy shit! And then I'm like kind of inexplicably squished. <laughs> I love how multiple people had this idea. I think there may have been some, uh, some. You know, a little bit of inspiration taken here and there. Me soyjacking at Plin Plin Plon, which is which is true. Although, really, if you want to like get into the deep lore, it should be Slave Knight Gale's theme, I think, because that's like the that's what I would really soyjack at <laughs> and have before. You know, not not physically, but like metaphorically, at Gale's theme in the Discord. Friend thought that was Minos' mouth for a second. Also, I'm streaming or stream on Discord. Sounds good. Hello, Lunite's friends. Is Plin Plin Plon the name of it? No, it's called Gwyn Lord of Cinder, but it just it the piano sounds like Plin Plin Plon. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Good submissions from Majuri. Here's retros. I think I I think I actually saw this one before it was spoiler tagged. But I definitely forgot about it. <laughs> this is actually really good. This almost looks like one of my thumbnails. Like, not not this part, but like the text is almost the same. And uh, you even got like the white outline, which might actually just be like a shitty cutout job, but it kind of worked. <laughs> Summoning Flippy at 3 a.m. <laughs> even the speed lines. I'm pretty sure I've used these exact speed lines before. This is good. This is really good. Red arrow, you got everything. You got everything. <laughs> That's a really good one. Uh, Bombi, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even sure I understand this one. This is from uh, that gamer guy. <laughs> Trying to make an alternate universe thumbnail if you sold out and made clickbait. That's funny. <laughs> Should have added gone sexual. Yeah, so this one I'm not sure I get. Is that boss baby Saul Goodman? <laughs> Is that what I'm looking at? Is that what my eyes have been subjected to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> I will not say a word. What is it? If I speak, I'm in big trouble. I gotta find that video. I feel like that's... I will not speak... I prefer not to speak. Here we go. Oh, this is like a long version of the video. God damn it. Is there just like a... 
Whatever, it's already not funny. <laughs> it's already not funny. You know what I'm you know what I'm talking about though, and if you don't, it's too bad. What the fuck is this? This is another one from <laughs> Majuri. What am I? What is going on here? Okay. No, I. Uh, is this the Chinese spy balloon? Holy shit. <laughs> it's just. A, it's a like paper lantern with a GoPro on it. <laughs> what, a, what an excellent drawing. What an excellent drawing. Holy shit. I thought this was like the moon or something, and I was like, is this an ultra kill joke somehow? I guess it kind of is still. But I was trying to like... I was trying to like, you know, understand how everything fit together, but I think I get it now. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Beautiful. <laughs> this is from User. Is their name. Ultra Kill YouTuber unboxes Burning Flames team captain at 3 a.m. Traitors perplexed. Valve called. So I don't play TF2, but I assume this is uh, I assume this is funny if you do. <laughs> the most iconic hat. Wow. With an unusual effect. That's pretty funny. As a TF2 player, this is pretty epic. All right, all right, all right. I do like it. They even got the font. That's pretty good. Kind of. I mean, it's different, but it's almost there. You yeah. <laughs> know. Explanation for mine was that I had barely any ideas and just went fuck all. I mean, it got it got the people talking. You know, that's that's all that matters at some point. It's provocative. Get some people go. Oh no! There's, this is Marino's submission. <laughs> this is like a real. This is a real deep cut. Yeah, <laughs> this is for some people a deep cut. Yeah, Shiko was the the originator of the Paris joke, in, in a in an interesting sense. That's so funny though. I almost feel like I want to pull this clip up for the, the people who haven't seen it. But it seems like most people got it. Basically, uh, there was something in Incision that I believe said Pears. And I thought it said Paris. And then I we just took it and ran with it and joked that the game was set in Paris. Um, and then, I don't know, something in chat occurred about nuking Paris. You know, just real normal Twitch chat stuff. Um... And I see Flippy is involved. I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, this is good. That's good. And then, of course, there's... <laughs> there's the, I actually just noticed the Watch the Throne album artwork. I both love and hate that. I hate the French. I think we had to specifically allow the term I hate the French because Chico was getting auto-modded for saying it. <laughs> So I, I think it is allowed for everyone to say I hate the French, but we did have to deliberately allow it. <laughs> we did have to specifically allow the term I hate the French in this chat. And speaking of Chico, here's her submission. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I hate the French. There you go. First time chat. What a first time chat. That's good. <laughs> the nameless king figurine. This is another kind of deep cut, but I like it. That is... That is a lot of money. <laughs> Excluding tax, too. This is a real thing, by the way. I feel like I knew this. If it wasn't you, it was someone else who brought this up in my chat. Yeah. Thirteen seventy four ninety nine. It's a pre order too. Estimated release second quarter twenty twenty three. I mean, it looks really cool. They even got like the head of the King of the Storm. I mean, 
How big is it? Height. 27 inches? Oh, holy shit. Yeah, it's like over two feet tall. God damn. That's crazy. Are you gonna buy it? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I can't afford it. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> oh, man. Another, uh, another submission from Majuri. <laughs> I'm not allowing you to purchase that. No, that's good. I don't want to. Me, uh, me soyjacking at PewDiePie's baby. Yes. Very good. Very timely. Yeah, it, it does point exactly at the stomach. And yet again, I'm kind of in, inexplicably stretched. Albeit in a different direction this time. <laughs> this was my real face when I found out that PewDiePie was having a baby. Can you believe it? Okay, I think we might just have one more submission, and this was the one that I was, uh... the most excited about, because it, it went the extra mile. Now, I don't know what this is, but it's just a, uh, it's a video. So I'm very curious to find out. From Shockblade. 21 second video. Above and beyond. The Call Hello. of Duty. <laughs> I, lo I love it already. <laughs> I love it already. Hello? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> no fucking way. What's up, Shockblade? You fool. I am Shockwave, not Shockblade. Now perish. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh, what oh. the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? I mean, the voice clips were perfect. I'm sorry about the timing of the, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> okay, I... I, <laughs> I mean, it's almost not fair, right? It's almost not fair. That said, any one of you could have made a video, but only Shockblade did. <laughs> so as good as some of these other ones were, um, I think I gotta hand it to Shockblade. If he's still here, um, <laughs> I'll, uh, there he is. I'll, I'll message you about, about Impaler. I don't know if I might, maybe just need to send you a key or if I can, like, gift it to you on Steam. But we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Rusty vid and recommended? Yeah. I like Rusty. So yeah, Shockblade is our winner. Congrats to Shockblade. I gotta say... Uh, solid runner-up for, uh, <laughs> for retros as well. Bought the game anyway, so I was only doing it for the funny. Fair enough. Well, <laughs> that, that works for me. But I would say yours is a solid runner-up. That, that was pretty funny. A good, good Discord inside joke as well. I like to think mine was pretty good. Yours was pretty good. I liked the ones that were, like, uh, community inside jokes, I guess. Like, the Paris one was good, too. And yeah, the fact that you edited it in Google Slides does uh, does make it a little bit more funny. Why is edited like the worst word in the English language? Not only that, but like just given what I do, I I say it a lot too. Like, oh, I edited that. Edited, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. <laughs> Love Shady Night. This is great. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm very excited to play it. I do have a couple videos that were submitted for today. There was no real theme. Um, but I got a couple videos. Um, may as well watch them. As long as we're here. It's kind of what the dumpster dive is about. Um, so the first one says, I made a VR game to propose to my girlfriend. He edited it. He edited it. <laughs> oh, wow. This is from a channel with only 4K subs. This is probably going to be way too gross and wholesome for this for this stream. But so we're going to watch it anyways. I want to propose to my girlfriend. And I work in tech. <laughs> Nerd. Hmm. Oh yes, a monstrous 5 bits. Monstrous. Lexi coming in with the monstrous 5 bits. Thank you. I really appreciate it. 
the grand idea? Make a VR game that turns into a trip down memory lane and get my girlfriend to play it. Okay, that's kind of wholesome. Plan. Wholesome and not cringe. Set up the VR gear and hide a nicer outfit. This is the only gamer with a girlfriend, by the way. <laughs> Except for me. No, I have a wife, not a girlfriend. <laughs> Just to be clear. I had five left over. Hey, I'll take them. I'll take them. Ask a few friends to hide before we get there. Arrive with my lady and have an awesome colleague from work. What about me? Pretend she's the indie game dev. Change into nicer clothes while she is getting geared up. Bring out our friends to watch the show. And feel bad about my lady crying with a VR headset on. And then ask the question. This MF sounds like Markiplier? No. No. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he, he doesn't. Last step. Hopefully, celebrate? Hopefully. Well, that's great and all, but how do we get here? <laughs> how does he sound like Markiplier? This is good editing. Dude, this channel has less subs than me, and this editing is a million times better. What the fuck? Sometimes you try something, and it just doesn't work. <laughs> Goodbye, Shader Graph. It looks pretty this cool. Would actually have a button on top that I, I thought I thought maybe it would just be like photospheres or something, but it actually looks like a like a game, which is kind of cool. Then we that's fucked out right now. Tacos are done. Let's fucking go. Subscribe to Dumper Man. I thought I was subbed this whole time. Lixie, thank you for the four months. I appreciate it. That's all right. Sub to me whenever you want. <laughs> I appreciate it either way. Thank you very much. Balls. Balls. What the fuck? He's going like all out for this shit. Hope he's going all what out. Do you think? One more memory? Is this fucking proposal? Hey, I mean, Brenda and I had a nice proposal, but I did not make a video game for her. <laughs> let's, let's be clear. I did not make a video game. We went to a beach in Oregon, and it was nice. And that was it. <laughs> that was all we did. <laughs> Kind of loud music. No video game. Okay. What are you going to do? Just give back the ring? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Nuts. Nuts. You're ruining the wholesome moment. Yeah, this video's been cool so far. I will say, I'm very impressed that he made, like, a, a game. Uh, because when I saw the title of this video originally, I had envisioned it more like a... Uh, like a VR experience. Where, I don't know, like, it's just, like, photospheres, or, like, you're looking at, you know, photos on a wall or something, just in VR. But he made a he made a fucking game. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> what is this thing? Welcome to a new chapter in your life. Walter might. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes Don't talk I'm about a flippy like that. Dramatic. <laughs> make the setting a bit more colorful and 
We are good to go. <laughs> to move around, hold the movement button. Whose voice is this? To teleport. Let's Hope he gave her an actual it. ring too. Follow yeah, he showed here. it. He showed it. He gave her the Elden Ring. Babe, will you marry me? And he just holds up like a PS5 copy of Elden Ring. <laughs> will you marry me? That's the bad version of the gamer proposal. Grab items with the trigger on your controls. Give it a try with my ring collection next to you. I'll wait right here. <laughs> That's literally the Elden Ring. Well done. Yeah, Look, sure. Well, you were busy. I was thinking. I know you're here to play a game, but I really need some help. How about you help me first? And Did he like hire a voice actor or want. like who is this woman's I voice? I promise there will be more party and excitement after my chores. I mean, <laughs> side quests. Deal. Or is that his wife? Did he like Since get his wife to ears, record this? Wait until you accept by clicking my. No, head. he hired someone. Okay. Voice is a little gone sexual for a proposal. True. I was kind of thinking that. I didn't want to say it, but. Welcome. <laughs> he just used a voice changer. Why would he do that if he was proposing? I guess I didn't know if like... No, I mean, it's it's kind of a stupid question in hindsight. But I didn't know... Maybe like the dialogue was like generic enough that she wouldn't know that it was like a for a proposal. But I don't know. I haven't seen the whole video. So it was kind of a dumb guess. But <laughs> you know what? I, I, I didn't have all the information. Can see my chickens are pretty useless. Chimkins. They have been like this for months now. <laughs> because I chickens don't have are arms dead. To help them up. Can you get them back to their feet? I'll wait and watch. Ha 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 Chickens are fucking so rotting. How are they still alive? Only two chickens left. Wow. You did it. Incredible. Look at them all walking around again. Chicken. Chicken. And chicken? Use the chickens as a football? True. Chicken! Chicken! Why is there a house buried chicken. in the sand? <laughs> you are quite handy. I need your help over at the school as well. Let's go! Pog. I'm sort of like... I know he said that there was kind of like nods to their relationship and obviously I don't I don't know these people and I don't I'm, I'm not going to go read the description to understand how it connects but I definitely expected something different like this kind of just seems like a game so far <laughs> Arizonans use barns as houses oh my. confirmed but maybe you can help me anyway yeah, we're going to need a Vati video on the uh, on the lore of this proposal can you look for it? Puzzles. Gamer's trying to learn the relationship lore. By the way, you're definitely not helping me steal from a bank right now. Oh, but don't think about it too hard either. <laughs> Watch out. Coming through. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Pardon. Silly me. Of course you need this. Big key. Right. Yeah, I... Jeez. Couldn't have figured that one out. My parents proposed to each other in a Burger King. Nuff said. Ohio shit. Hell yeah. 
That's kind of based. Ah, isn't it nice? I have such Wow, the Golden Gate Bridge. Life. I'm assuming they went there together. How about we go there next? They're still in the Golden Gate Bridge. Impressive. Impressive. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the husband is revealed to be Nicolas Cage. Isn't it? <laughs> Minions shit. <laughs> Yo, I love the low poly cars. This is actually pretty cool, though. The skybox is nice. Ooh, you should take a picture. Wow. Toss the robot off the bridge. You guys are true VR gamers. Cyber truck. Cluster the truck. Is off. Try another one. This is the biggest button I've ever seen on a camera. Maybe take a picture of me. <laughs> is this turning into a horror game? Oh, Look no. at that. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe this isn't the normal VR experience after all. Now, don't freak out. I've got some more things to show you before you take off that headset. Tap my head whenever you want to. He really jebated her. <laughs> to another place. <laughs> I feel like Britta would like this, yeah. This has been the setting That's pretty for cool. most of our time together. We like recreated their house or something. That's kind of neat. So many memories here. You should take another picture. <laughs> the dumpster has already proposed, but imagine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't quite go to this level of effort. We had a very nice proposal. Could I use software to morph my voice into a woman's voice? Yeah, almost definitely. So it's a good boy <laughs> from me. Now I know you think that I suck, but hey, sure that's my job. So Why the Roomba talking though? It has been a pleasure inhaling all of your hair and all of your crumbs. Why is I it mean, Irish? Wish for me the least you get. All about. <laughs> Petting the Roomba, true. That's funny. Ohio ass Roomba. We're just calling anything Ohio now, aren't we? Jack Septic Eye Roomba, the Remember only Irish person. Beginning? True. Feels like yesterday. Oh, he has like a photo of it too. That's cool. Bring back some more memories. That fireplace reminds me of something. <laughs> Had to eat the crumbs during the potato famine. <laughs> Yeah, this Thanks is wholesome. You, uh, fire and marshmallows has become my definition of coziness. Yeah, no, that is cool. What do you think? One more memory? I mean, picture. I wonder if that's just for the the video, because he probably recorded this gameplay himself. Black septic guy. Yeah, Visiting that's his name. Family and roots was such a blast. Just don't drone next time. Okay. <laughs> Let me show you something else. Tap my head whenever you're ready. I <laughs> like how they pat the robot's head <laughs> to keep going. That's funny. These are just some. Yeah, these environments are really cool. I love how chat is trying their best to turn this not wholesome, but it is. You know what? It's it's uh, it, it 
It's too wholesome to be to be unwholesome. <laughs> you just let me know when you had enough. Nostalgia. Chicken. <laughs> Seems like there was something to the chickens, huh? Well, so far, we only looked at our past. What's really exciting is what lies ahead. At what, at what point are you like, okay, this is obviously a proposal, right? <laughs> what, what, even worse, what if you take off the VR headset and he's just like, did you like it? Just no proposal? <laughs> but did you like it? <laughs> That's just it. Yeah, the game sucked ass. <laughs> but for this, you will have to first hand me your controllers and then take off your headset. <laughs> Joking. I'm pretty sure he proposed to his girlfriend. I don't think they're going to show it because it seems like he doesn't want to show his face, but... Pog, dude. <laughs> Imagine just the last frame. She said no. <laughs> that was a cool video. I like that. That is, man, that's a lot of effort. <laughs> when when people be getting engaged in Burger King, that's a lot of effort. Uh, but that was really fucking good. The channel is called uh, Misha Colby. Colby. I don't know how to how to say that. It says Vancouver. That guy sounded like Scandinavian or something though. Um. Very cool though. Very good video. I can't believe that. I can't believe that channel only has almost 5k subs. Is there like other videos on this channel? I'm really curious. Oh, it seems like it's mostly like devlogs and stuff. It's crazy when these channels that just like have like no views or like videos really just come out and make such a like like genuinely really good video <laughs> like how do you do that how do you just pull that ability to make something like that out of thin air that's crazy what if elden ring ost had guitars like doom eternal i actually started watching this video and uh i just didn't finish it for some reason but so i was gonna watch it anyways but watching it on stream seems like a good the time is 4.15 Good plan. Super Gornest is playing for the seventh like time. Like a bout of inspiration? Get that guitar yeah, game? like, I, I, I assume that, like, a game developer uh, probably has, like, some skills that overlap with, like, video editing. So, I'm sure they just, just buckle down and make it, right? But, yeah, you're right. It, I mean, it's just, like, the, those channels that don't rely on uh, <laughs> content creation to, like, you know, pay the bills and stuff are like tend to like produce one off like really good videos because it's it's usually like a you know a labor of love I know I'll never buy an but all of my videos are a labor of love never forget that dumpster man is simply built different max effects rack unit but it feels good to say regardless my friend sends me a message looks like he's playing Elden Ring right now I reply by saying something supportive you know the way a friend should I'm hoping that he doesn't ask me if I plan to play Elden Ring. Because, <laughs> well, the truth is, those games are hard. And I, well, let's just say I'm soft. Only 19% of people have the Elden Lord achievement. That's only one of the endings, though, right? Because I think if you look at how many people have, like, defeated Elden Beast, it's, like, a lot more, right? <laughs> it's, like, a lot more, isn't it? I don't have Elden Lord. I don't think I have that one either. I think I'll get it for the first time when I complete my current stream playthrough. I actually just got the Frenzied Flame one. Didn't think he would do it. Ooh. What are we talking about? It's at this moment of reveling in my incredible softness that I can't shake the feeling that there's something <laughs> Yeah, those that are the two endings I've done as play. well. A way to keep my resolve through over 230 I'm going to stop fights. interrupting this guy now. It was staring now. <laughs> me right in the face. So simple and so... He said Souls obvious. games are hard and I am soft. Oh, that's amazing. funny. I didn't think of it sooner. I should put Doom Eternal guitars into an Elden Ring song. Yeah. Hey, 
Hey, executive producer Jeff here. I just wanted to stop and say that you guys really like From Software songs. Uh, my Bloodborne and my Dark Souls cover are some of the most listened to of all time, which is really wild. Oh shit. So if you want to skip That's to cool. the end of this video to watch to the final result of Elden Ring, I really hope you come back and then experience what I can only describe as uh, insane plot development. Okay. Okay. Where were we? I'm, I'm, I'm in, you know what? I'm in. Oh, he's actually pretty good at Doom Eternal. It's true that I've played lots of Doom Eternal, but I've never played a single Elden Ring, so I needed to learn <laughs> what it's all about. You know, I'd say it was about time I gave my video editor- Dude, I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, Doom Eternal, like, it's not like a particularly egregiously difficult game, but that game is like- demanding that's like the uh the what if we used 100 percent of the brain meme that's like what playing that game is like because you have to think about like what weapon goes with what enemy and like and just where shit is and like i don't know man if you can if you can be good at doom eternal you could definitely beat elden ring like there's no there's no way this guy like reasonably would struggle with uh hi, i'm late hi we liked your uh submissions for the photoshop contest uh, ultimately shockblade was the winner with this video but uh but we liked we liked your many submissions they were pretty funny welcome dan a call he's put hundreds of hours into elden ring which i'm pretty sure legally qualifies that's almost exactly how much time i have in elden ring i think i have like 260 hours well look who it is it's mr plays guitar himself hey dan uh so thanks for taking the call i'm doing an elden ring cover i guess i just don't understand the plot at all <laughs> well from software games are famous for their easy to understand usually lore, beat games because i'm so stubborn every Same. step of the way so there's really no reason to consult an expert like me to understand everything, but since you seem like you're in a hurry, I'll try to summarize it quickly for everyone. Once upon a time, there's a lady named Queen America who rules the whole world. She has a pet named the Elden Beast who inexplicably transforms into the Elden Ring. Queen Marijuana uses the Elden Ring to make her favorite tree glow gold and also be big. She decides to make some dude named Godfrey her- It's crazy that they just included like an entire Vati video within this video. Kind of weird. The Discord call scared me. Yeah, I know. I hate- I've done- I've admittedly done that trick in my videos, but I hate when other videos do it. First Elden Lord. They bump uglies Trying and have to be my three first children. Then she genocides the, a bunch of giants because they have a big burny fire that might hurt her- I haven't played that tree. game in a Showing long time. character development, she now decides that death and I'm not is good bad, at it. so she turns it off in the settings menu. Jobfree stops fighting people, so the big tree calls him a candy-ass little baby bitch boy and exiles him, turning him into the first tarnished. Queen Marimba marries another dude named Marimba. Radadon, and they have more children. Later, all the offspring want to rule the world for themselves, which makes Queen Marinara very angry. So like a true mom dealing with a sibling dispute, she shatters the Elden Ring and all her kids get their own useless piece of it. The tree hates the offspring and also is lonely so it asks all the descendants of god's pee known as the tarnished to come god's back out of exile. you play as one of these tarnished the tree assures you it's very sorry for exiling you and it wants you to gather the elden ring pieces and become elden lord and this is where the game begins oh we haven't even started the game yet nope that's all backstory Anyway, you are revived by Mr. <laughs> Big Glowy Tree and set off on your quest to become uh -huh, Elden uh -huh, Lord. Uh -huh. You meet a chick named Melanie who offers to touch you whenever you want if you promise to burn her in a fire later. This allows you to level up. She brings you to a place with some other dudes who are trying to fix the Elden Ring. They take their orders from a giant pair of disembodied fingers. After killing a bunch of demigods and stealing their runes, you go to the capital to meet the Big I Tree. I understand you need to get completely. The tree to repair I've played this game and I'm not even going to lie. Whenever I hear like story recaps, I'm, there's always something new that I'm just like, I had no fucking clue that was the thing. <laughs> the Elden Ring, but Tree won't let you in, so you climb a big mountain and... Wait, do you care about spoilers? I guess I... I don't... Really uh oh, sure. Elden Ring spoilers. Nah, be fine. You burn the tree down with the fire of the giants. Melanoma gets excited by the fire and jumps in, killing herself. You do not level up. Then you go back That's to That's not Lord exactly how I remember Godfrey, that going. basically your great grandpa. You kill him and go inside the tree. Inside the tree, you fight Rabble John and kill him too. Except Rabble whoops, John. he transforms into the Elden Beast. And then guess what? You kill that also. Finally, you are- Is there- is there like a reason why... Radagon turns into- Why is my wife talking about the music guy being hot in my chat? Uh, I'm- I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what's going on here? <laughs> I have to admit, I don't understand the Elden Beast, and I'm- I'm actually pretty- Pretty up to date on my Elden Ring lore. I don't understand what the fuck the Elden Beast is still.
are rewarded with one of six endings, depending on how horny or how much of a psychopath Propose to me with a video game and I'll rescind my so, message? What? I... Yep, sounds like you understood everything. Well, gotta go, see ya. Yeah, Hell he turns yeah. into the sword, but again, on... but again, how does that, how the fuck does, expl like, how does that make sense? I don't get it. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, he uses his fucking body as the sword, which is kind of cool, but also, like, why? Why? <laughs> on the Elden Ring plot just like Dan. My new expert instincts are telling me I should probably listen the to Elden the Elden Ring, Ring becomes the Elden now. Beast. Yeah. I like the orchestra in this one. Good orchestra character. Orchestra is creepy. <laughs> Very orchestral. It seems like he does for a Don's theme. If he only does one. It's like there's an orchestra in the forest. Which is a really good pick. Kind of sounds like an orchestra. Mm, I already really feel that. He does Radagons? Oh, I thought it was... It, at the beginning, it sounded like it was Radons. Oh, this one sounds like uh, Yuka Kitamura. Oh, that's because it's Yuka Kitamura. <laughs> I like how he hasn't played these games, but he knows Yuka Kitamura. Uh, I have to say, also my favorite composer for these games. Uh, I mean, she's made like all of the best, or at least all of my favorite themes. I like the orchestra in this. I think I like this one best just because it starts with Godfrey, which I thought said Jeffrey at first. Jeffrey. I wonder how they get the orchestra that sounds like people. Now that I'm an expert on both the plot and the soundtrack Musical Elden genius. Ring, I'm beginning to realize that, like my Dark Souls 3 cover and like my Bloodborne cover, converting this music into a Doom Eternal Argent Metal beatdown track will be absurdly challenging. In the worst case scenario, if we can't pull it off, it'll still be fun. But I know for sure, I could use some help. Over the years, through many collaborations, I've started to unintentionally build what I can only describe as the Justice League of video game Argent Metal. Today, <laughs> we must light that pentagram bat signal once again. First to arrive is Andrew Baina. You know him from our many other covers, and he can be trusted. Oh, to he play did any uh, Metal Gear Rising ones as well. That's pretty cool. That is required for the song, and play a big guitar. He shall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Am I crazy? Is that a nine string guitar? Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way you're using all those strings, right? You're playing bass and guitar on that shit. <laughs> I once thought about buying a seven string or an eight string guitar. I ended up not doing it because they're just expensive. Um, and even like the strings are more expensive because they go to like a thicker gauge. But man, a nine string guitar is insane. Like, you have to be playing kind of like a really specific type of metal for that to even be useful to you. What's this? Emerging from the shadows is Alex Rowe. Alex built his following string. on Imagine. brilliant reimaginings. Oh, Alex Dark Rowe. Music, oh, that's cool. Bloodborne music and, wouldn't you know it, Elden Ring music. He'll bring the actual Elden Ring I do Ring like Alex Rowe's remakes or remixes. Composer. And then there's me. I answered my own call. The, these are the best picks, by the way. These Dunlop turtle picks. That's what I use for pretty much... Ha have used, I should say. For pretty much my entire time playing guitar. They're the best. Call. I guess what I do is I make drums go... And synthesizers go... I'm now inspired thinking about that. Elden Lords is a great album. Yeah, I've heard some of it. Didn't he make it before the game was even out? I guess it's time That's kind of like a cool concept. <laughs> <laughs> I have most of the pieces in place, but how do they connect? It's like the solution is hiding in plain view, just begging to be discovered. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to go over what we already know one more time. The guitars and bass need to be tight and perfectly aligned with the beat. The drums need to be choppy and mechanical. There needs to be okay, a okay. macho choir to make sure we don't yes, lose the most gotta get the choir. part of the song.
And there needs to be synthy moments that could be ripped straight from a Doom game. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, this is this is going to be sick. What, what is this? Sound effects. Sound effects? Sound effects. Sound effects. Jeff, it was right in front of you the whole time. Sound effects. I immediately reached for my new sound. Oh, is, hi, is his obvious, name Jeff? Is that why he thought that Godfrey's name was Jeffrey? <laughs> if I do say so myself, shamelessly self-promotional manner. A few minutes later, I had filled in all of the empty spaces. It goes to show it really was the risers, transitions, and sound effects that were missing from this project. That is kind of true. Uh, it's something that I've noticed, especially in the Doom Eternal uh, soundtrack. And I actually use a lot of just like the random like sounds and like buildups and swells from that soundtrack uh, to add like flair to, to the editing of my videos. Uh, that is like... That is genuinely, like, an important feature of the soundtrack for that game. Um, it's just a little, like... Like, just the weird little sounds that, like, happen in there. Like, transitioning between parts of the song and stuff. I've never really thought about it, though. That's kind of neat. Chainsaw sounds. I mean, basically. <laughs> Hats off to you me well it was finally over the end result was more beautiful than i had ever imagined you know maybe it's just because we were talking about rusty but he sounds his like um his voice and like his commentary style sounds like rusty the youtuber <laughs> like am i crazy anyone who is aware of rusty am i am i just imagining that because he was just mentioned in my chat or am i am i on to something here <laughs> The world, for better or for worse, was changed forever. Yeah, I haven't seen All Rusty's Hollow Knight videos. I've just player. seen the Souls videos. And to break the fourth wall, without further ado, Radagon of the Golden Order, featuring the talents of Andrew okay. Dana and Alex Rowe. Enjoy. Okay, okay. Oh, that's fucking sick. Wait, that was just a six string guitar. Excuse me? That's gotta be like drop, drop B tuning. I'm not quite sure. That's a low ass tuning for a six string guitar though. Definitely using some kind of drop tuning. I think. That's pretty fucking good. I like that. Yeah, I wonder where he got the Elden Ring gameplay from. Okay, those were Don dodges were kind of sick. Yeah, whoever recorded the gameplay, at least someone knows what they're doing. I mean, that, that, like, Radon spinning attack is not easy to touch. Ooh. I like this part.
Oh, he missed the unsheath again. And the jump attack. That's all, that's all right, bro. Elden Beast is just bad. Melania? Do we get to see one of them dying to waterfowl? Oh! Now he knows how to dodge it. Okay, that was sick. This is technically a little bit left of the video, but I think it's just like thanking patrons and stuff. Pog. That was cool. That was very good. Um, okay, I'll watch one more. What is this? Oh, this is short. These are both pretty short. Okay, I'll watch them both, but then no more videos after that. Just popped into my recommended. It was in my recommended too, but that was a good video. Okay, this is Wii Sports Bowling Corruption Craziness 8. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh huh, uh huh. Seems good. No, I know what corruptions are. I've watched I've watched my fair share of vine sauce in the day in, in my day. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> I love how there's a a pin right in front. Oh, okay, it's multiple pins. <laughs> more than one. Well, yeah, it didn't look like one at first. <laughs> Strike. <laughs> I can't believe it, actually. I mean, I guess it's probably just looking at how many pins got knocked over and just saying, like, yep, that's enough for a strike. <laughs> My friends and I were working on a vid like this. That's funny. These are always funny. Just endless entertainment. Uh-oh. <laughs> the way it froze scares me. <laughs> Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Is it gonna just crash? Oh? No, okay. There was a bunch of pins stacked on one spot again. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I don't know if anyone, like, has seen this movie, but this, like, practice lane in this, like, smaller bowling alley looks like the location of the final scene from There Will Be Blood. And I could never, once I saw that movie, I could never get over it that, like, that uh, that's what this looks like. <laughs> and some fucked up shit happens there. If you haven't seen that movie, you should, because it's incredible. Uh, but yeah, some fucked up shit happens there. But it also kind of just looks like the Wii Sports like bowling practice area. That's a lot of pins. 91 pins. Beautiful. Well done. Bowling or like balls? Balls. How many files can you delete before TF2 breaks? <laughs> In doing some research around the coconut, it turns out that TF2 doesn't care if you delete Balls. literally all your textures. <laughs> yes. You are allowed to play with the mess of purple and black everywhere. But this is really like kind of a, um, a staple of source games. 
Like, I feel like even games that I hadn't fucked with would just inexplicably have a few missing textures. I'm, I'm very familiar with this texture. Um, because it's pretty much inescapable in, in Source games. <laughs> it just... It, it's just always is there. <laughs> source moment. Yeah, exactly. Or like Gary's mod maps, you know? Like, someone would just forget to, like, point that one texture to the right spot, and you would just end up with, with this, like, randomly he wanted to it's pretty How funny playable is it and also what does tf2 care about is there a bottom line on i had a friend actually who tried to play oblivion on a potato pc and i'm not just talking about like a modern potato pc i mean i'm talking about like it was 2009 and he had a like potato laptop at the time and he really wanted to play oblivion but he couldn't launch the game like he could launch the game and play it up until the point where you get out of the sewers because there's no water in the uh, Intel Core 2 Duo potato. Yeah, basically, honestly. Uh, there was no actual, like, uh, water in the Imperial sewers. Um, and so when you get out, then there would be, like, an actual, like, water texture. And for whatever reason, like, the shader on the water texture would uh <laughs> would just crash his game. So what he do he did was he went into the files and deleted just deleted the water shader. And so he played the game for like a year with water that just it looked like this basically. It was pink. I don't think it had like the black checkerboard, but it was just pink. Like it looked like he had Pepto Bismol water. And that was just how he played the game. That was how he experienced Oblivion. Um it it was incredible honestly. A person who doesn't play TF2 watching a video on TF2. I'm sorry, would you like me to stop? <laughs> the, vi the premise of the video is interesting. I, wh what do you want me to say? I watch videos on games that I don't play all the time. <laughs> How is that such a weird thing? <laughs> Lean water. Yeah, exactly. I mean, very specifically, it looked like fucking Pepto-Bismol. What you can delete, or can you have absolutely nothing? I just thought it was fun. First, playing. I mean, I, no I know I have played TF2 before. I I know about TF2. I just haven't played a lot of it. You're allowed to join official Valve casual servers and play like this if you want. <laughs> I tried it out. with no textures. I didn't really get lost since map geometry was distinct enough. Yeah, Here the lighting kind of helps too. Maps. You should be able to recognize where you are, even though it's all purple and black. This is Valorant in 2023. <laughs> all map are pink now. And because of TF2's falling shading, the white glow that helps player models stand out from the background, players are actually recognizable. You can tell there's someone in front of you, and what class they are too, thanks to TF2's distinct silhouettes. Yeah, that makes sense. With fong shading on, late. Welcome. It really makes it obvious I'm just watching this video and then I'm going to play some demos. Invisibility. But there are three main problems that basically make it too New Monster Hunter update is out right now. Pog. Problem one, team colors. <laughs> yeah. Both teams look the same. Yeah. You could use context to infer who to shoot, but sometimes you'll be in a situation where you really don't know who to shoot. It's possible to use your crosshair like a metal detector and check if the target ID pops up when you look at someone. But in scrappy fights, you obviously wouldn't have the time to manually check everyone. <laughs> Players who are Ubered or crits are often- There's this guy who made videos on, uh, on Rainbow Six Siege named basically Homeless. Um, he's made videos on other games too, but he was known for making games where he would do like this type of stuff with Rainbow Six Siege. And I just remember like- um, uh, he, it would, he, one of his, uh, <laughs> subscribe to dumper man, pog, pog, <laughs> pog. bomber. Thank you for the 13 months prime. Thank you very much. Uh, what video is this? This is how many files can you delete before TF2 breaks and playing TF2 with no textures. But yeah, basically homeless would do bas this type of stuff with siege, but he would love to tell people in his like ranked lobbies that he was doing this stuff. And they would be like, what the fuck? Why am I playing with a guy who is uh, playing Rainbow Six Siege on a Guitar Hero guitar? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, but I, th it just makes me think of this. I don't know. I just think this shit is funny. Like, imagine getting in a game with this guy. <laughs> also very difficult to discern. 
Problem two, transparency. Because the no texture texture doesn't enable <laughs> any transparency, textures that are partly transparent and partly don't delete the coconut. So I've heard. Entirely block your view. Glass windows and fences are examples of this problem. Oh yeah, I, I suppose. I was like, wait, why fences? But yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and Wrangler Shield becomes a solid sphere. <laughs> oh, that's silly. And worst of all, it's hardly a big problem, but effects. that's funny. Whenever you get jarrodied or ubered, a wavy distortion oh, no. gets applied. The oh distortion no! The effects work by using a texture file. So when it goes missing and becomes a purple and black checkerboard instead, it <laughs> gets bad. Flashbang. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't distort it Here's as much as I thought it would. Normal textures. The distortion effect comes up when you bleed, step in the gas passer, <laughs> get jarrodied, get ubered, or jump into water. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, most I, hilarious it seems like it's just taking the checkerboard and just like detecting the edges and then like distorting it a little bit. Uh, but it's still funny. It becomes incredibly difficult to use the sniper scope. Oh no. <laughs> That's funny. I suppose there's like a glass kind of distortion effect on it. True Widowmaker gaming. <laughs> so besides It looks like looking through like a glass block window. You are allowed you know? to delete all your sounds, and because there isn't a no sound sound, TF2 just becomes almost complete silent. <laughs> you just play almost in silence. A few TF2 sounds are from Half-Life 2, and some default oh. back to being a Half-Life sound. Most Interesting. Most notably, the clicking sounds and menus. Some of Iconic sound. Gameplay sounds. And the rocket explosion noise. See the changes Blizzard made for the upcoming season? I don't I don't play or follow Overwatch really. So no. The Half-Life 2 fall. But even if I did, I wouldn't know what to make of them. <laughs> of the loading background gets defaulted to a Half-Life 1. Windows Surprisingly it's good. Interesting. And there's a lot of windows on Snake Water. Some older maps like Badlands make use of Half-Life textures such as the hazard strips and stairs, so they're still visible. Besides sound... Do you, in the year 2023, do you still need to have Half-Life 2 installed to play Team Fortress 2? Because I remember that being the case back in the day that you would, you would pretty much have to have, like, all... You would at least have to have Half-Life 2 installed. No, you don't. Okay. Interesting. There's so I wonder where the... Um, have it installed for Gmod? Yeah, yeah. It's in the game files itself. Yeah, but you would think you could delete them then, right? Maybe not. The MISC VPK files, Maybe they're like baked into the engine the somehow. Scripts. I don't know. TF2 finally draws the line here. You can delete most of the MISC VPK files, but not files 0, 1, <laughs> and 5. I like how he's well, tried launching zero, the game with TF2 like every combo. Crashes and gives you an error stating that it can load surface properties. <laughs> Surface Properties is a text file that lists all of the kinds of map surfaces within the game. So when you walk oh around God. on different surfaces, you hear different footstep noises. This sounds really unimportant, and that's because it is. <laughs> there is really no reason TF2 couldn't keep going without knowing which footstep sounds to play. But a programmer mm. just decided to draw the line there. After you have file zero. Yeah, they probably didn't decide though, right? Like, it, there's probably some spaghetti code that causes the game to crash because of that. But they probably weren't like, yeah, no, nah, that's too far. Service properties being required is actually an anti-cheating measure. Oh, yeah, that actually kind of makes sense. I, I can see that how that would, how that would uh, be justified. Game will still crash. You need to have file one, which contains player and building models. And file 5 for the game to run. I mean, yeah, that file makes sense. File 5 is 106 megabytes of random stuff, such as this crank, MVM cache, and the 2 fork cow. <laughs> so I can't even guess what might be so important in here. 
So let's just say the cow stops teasing. Must be the Hand of the King on boss level one just now. With these three, I uh, I just finally beat uh Hand of the King on my Steam Deck save uh, a couple days ago. But I I put the game down for a long time. But and then pretty much my first run back, I beat him. I think I had the Assault Shield and the Dagger of Profit. I can't quite remember what exactly the build was. It was something like that though. Yeah, Hand of the King kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. I much prefer, like, basically every boss up, up to him. TF2 he feels like RNG. In certain circumstances, when you clip The coconut doesn't crash the game, but the 2 fork cow does. That's really interesting. In our bare bones TF2, we're missing I haven't done a queen run yet. Skybox work. So oh my god. The sky, the smearing effect happens. Ugh. Uh, I hate. Okay, I hate. Killing the medic instantly crashes the game. And of course, there's errors everywhere where models are supposed to be. But you can't queue into a Valve server. Not because the server doesn't let you join, but because you literally don't have the HUD files for the matchmaking <laughs> menu. So there's no queue button. Uh, to crash. <laughs> you miss DPK 16. After that, you can join no problem. But why just delete TF2 files? Why don't we also get rid of the base Half-Life 2 files? Yeah, why not? Just like tf 2's <laughs> surface properties, the game won't launch if you don't have the Half-Life 2 surface properties, so you need to have HL2 MISC 0. The Half-Life 2 loading background is also essential for some reason, so you need HL2 Textures 0. Other than that, you can get rid of everything else. Obviously, without even the Half-Life stuff, the game is now completely silent. Yeah, it's no silent, textures. everything is an error, and there's no textures. Interestingly, because there are not even Half-Life textures. Some might ask, can you de how many files can you delete before TF2 breaks? I'm asking, why? <laughs> now works again. Why? But in this state, the game For is science. literally only technically playable. For some reason, animations are now incredibly broken. <laughs> uh, but if you're okay uh, with this, uh, you can still join Valve casual servers. I'm asking why not? Eh, fair enough. Fair enough. Potato PC. Like, you think people are playing without textures, though? I've seen people turn textures down to, like, like way below the lowest settings, but this is something else. I'm pretty sure there's a Skyrim mod that makes every texture just, like, one solid color. Like, it basically turns it into, like, a low-poly game. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Those are so weird looking with no textures. Alright. I think I've seen it all. Crazy, though.